My hallelujah belongs to you. 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 My hallelujah belongs, belongs to you. You deserve it, you deserve it, you deserve it, oh, oh, oh. you deserve it. My thank you, Jesus, belongs to you. 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 You deserve it, yeah. You deserve it, you deserve it, oh, oh, oh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your successful days are days where you're praising God often. The success of a day is to stay in tune in with the spirit of the Lord by praising him, by thanking him. Singing, thanksgiving, praise. All these things keep your soul in tune with the Lord. Often tell the Lord, thank you. Often in a day, keep on telling the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you more than anything that you do. Even when you're at your job, say, Lord, thank you that I have a job. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the ability to fulfill my job assignment. Thank you for empowering me. Thank you for your graciousness towards me. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. We're nothing without you. We're nothing without you. We're nothing without you. We're nothing without you. This is a impartation we dealing with um certain woman under the raw anointing. This really gonna change your life and you can take a lot of notes from this. Cause the certain woman um uh, these are the premier women of the New Testament starting off, jumping off. They were the jump off women to like show people how to to become fully spirit in a female body, which is really miraculous. They really took on the grace of God with all their hearts. We in Luke chapter eight. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. All my debts you pay 
from the cross to the grave, and from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, I'm so glad to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you came to save us. Lord, I I lift your name on high. Oh, oh. I'm so glad to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading all sickness. I'm trading all pain. I'm laying it down for the joy of the Lord. My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes. Yes, yes. My soul says yes. <laughs> My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Yes. Yes, yes. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must cease. For the devil is defeated and we are blessed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me stop singing before. <laughs> Glory to God. Luke chapter 8. Look what it says right here in verse 1. No weapon formed against me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning. New mercies I see, and all I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. And all I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is, great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto to me. And all 
I have needed thy hands have provided great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness great is your faithfulness lord unto me just like heaven just like heaven on earth oh, oh, oh just like heaven just like heaven on earth something's moving something's changing see his glory just like heaven on earth something's moving something's changing see his glory just like heaven on earth oh, oh, oh. heaven yeah heaven on earth Oh, 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 heaven, heaven on earth, something's moving, something's changing, see his glory, just like heaven on earth, something's moving, something's changing. See his glory, just like heaven on earth. Oh, 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 just like heaven, yeah. Heaven on earth. Oh, 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 oh. we in Luke chapter eight. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord, come and quench this testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Is my cup fill it up and make me whole? Is my cup, Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lift it up, Lord. There is a river. That flows from deep within. There is a fountain that frees my soul from sin. Come to this water. There is a vast supply. There is a river, a river that never shall run dry father i love you lord we praise you and we adore you glorify your name in all the earth glorify your name Glorify your name. Glorify your name in all the earth. Father, how we love you. Lord, we praise you. 
We adore you. We in Luke chapter 8. Look at this here. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village. Preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the 12 disciples were with him. Let's go to verse 2. It says, and certain woman. Which had been healed of evil spirits. And infirmities. Mary called Magdalene. Out of whom went seven devils. Let's go to verse three. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward. So, so, so Herod's steward was Chusa. And she was his wife, the wife of Chusa. Herod's steward. So Joanna. And then look where it says, and Susanna. And many others, and many others, and many others which ministered unto Jesus of their money. Look at this here. Another text said, it ministered of, to Jesus of their substance, of their, of their provision. Watch this here. Says, I want you to catch what type of grace these women had. It was different. They were different from the pack. They were distinguished. To some people, Jesus, this man was a man that had wisdom. To some people, this man, Jesus, was a man that could do miracles. To some people, this man, Jesus, was a man that brought people into singing hymns, psalms. To some people, this Jesus was a man that fed multitudes. To some people, these, this Jesus was a man that labored with mentorship towards people that he felt had potential to become what he was mentoring them to become. But to the certain woman, it was not so. They saw Jesus as soul to sow into. The certain woman, they went back to Eden and wore the blessing mantle. The blessing. These women were blessed. Because they had the mindset of sowing. The mind of sowing. The mentality of sowing is a blessed mind. It's a mind that can be only empowered by the Holy Ghost. And that's why the Holy Ghost will govern and lead you into it. It is his ability, it is his ministry, and it is his office. These women received the sowing anointing so strong that they became unselfish about their personal life. They became unbothered about their personal life. And they became focused on helping out King Jesus. These certain women, they did not fear the enemy. They did not fear their governmental system. They did not fear what flesh and blood could do to them. They were lost in this man, Jesus. Now, saints, the word of God said that these certain women they were healed of evil spirits and infirmities. So these women were not just, they were not just in Jesus' life without an encounter. They had been healed. Now, saints, healing is different from delivered. You say, prophet, well, what's the, what's the difference? Because there's people that get free. Watch. The children of Israel get free from Pharaoh. But they don't get healed. Because the healing requires them. 
The freedom is simply God saying, I'll give this to you. But the healing requires them to say, Lord, now I will let you work in me the things that you want me to think about. And this is how I'm going to function for now on. As you teach me this, I'll function like the way that you teach me. And that's where healing comes in. This is why people can get free, but if they don't get healed, they'll go back to what they was made free from. Because healing deals with the memory. Healing deals with the innermost parts of the soul carrying experiences and moments and memories. And this is something that you can remember. And until you get healed, the freedom is not protected. So even if somebody get free, if they don't get healed, their freedom is still exposed to the enemy to access it. Now you know why Galatians 5, 1 can says, once uh, be free in the liberty with which Christ has made you free and don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now you know why it says don't be entangled again because it's saying you're going to have to get your healing. Be healed from that yoke. You are already free from it, but be healed from it. Your soul can have wounds. And when your soul have wounds, it also has wickedness. Wickedness is attached to those wounds. So saints, I want you to catch something in this text. It says that there was a certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits. This is very important. Because this means that these women didn't just let Jesus set them free. They did their part to stay connected to Jesus. Oh, my God. This is good. These women not only experienced his power, but they also pursued his power and worked his power and kept his power on the go. And watch this here. They was also discerning women because they recognized what would stop the power. They recognized what was adversarial to the power. They, they understood what was hindrances to the power. So these women, they were healed of evil spirits. Are you healed of evil spirits? You say, well, prophet, what does, what does that mean? That means that after Jesus set you free, that even the memory in your soul, it has been dealt with by the light of God, which is the word of God. Meaning that the word of God has sealed up your soul so that it don't got no leakage. It don't got no opening. It don't got no exposure to that same demonic power again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, this is some good teaching, boy. See that clap right there, clap. <laughs> but you can see that bring me joy. That's Luke chapter eight. Look, look, look what it said right here. And certain woman which had, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Now, saints, let's go to this next part. Evil spirits is dealing with the soul. Infirmities is dealing with the body. So saints, these healings were soul and body, soul and body, soul and body. These healings, they had been healed in their mind. And they had been healed in their physical body. Some of you sowers on here need to listen to this very clearly. That Jesus has already reserved healing for your mind and healing for your body. See, when, when you in the realm of certain women, the healing just keep on coming. 
it, it don't just happen in the mind, it happen in the body. It don't just happen in the mind, it happen in the body. These women were healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Now watch this here. When I deal with evil spirits, what, what's the major thing that an evil spirit want to do? Cause you to go opposite to the way that God wants you to go. That's why it's called evil. Evil mean contrary, to contradict, to go opposite, to oppose, to challenge, to withstand. So I want you to resist. So when we deal with evil spirits, these evil spirits have one job to make these women go opposite to the will of God. And they allow Jesus to heal them of witchcraft spirit. Oh my God. Ah, yeah. They let Jesus heal them of witchcraft. Spirits that will make them oppose his will, his want, his instruction, his training, his correction, his desires. Now look where it said, Mary called Magdalene. Out of whom went seven devils. Saints, this means that she has seven different kingdoms that had legions of demons, 6,000 plus on each. She had a satanic king, seven different satanic kings had governed her. So she had a Jezebel spirit. This woman was one of Satan's top workers. She was very evil. But yet she was favored. The truth of the matter is favor will never be fair. Because if you really want to look at things from the measurement of God, he's holy, you're unholy according to the decisions you make. And the thoughts that you think and the path that you pick for your life. But yet God favor you, even though you're flawed, even though there's defects of Satan. But what I want you to catch, these women let Jesus heal them. They were healed. That means that these were not flawed women. They let the Lord go in those places that were damaged, broken, destroyed, demonic. And they let the Holy Spirit bring recovery, righteousness, redemption, and repentance. Hallelujah. Now, saints, I want to magnify this. In verse 3, it says, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart. This Joanna was married. She had a husband. And while she had a husband, her eyes were open to see her Messiah. Joanna was a wife. That means that at night she didn't sleep with Jesus. She slept with her husband. That means that she wasn't going on dates with Jesus. She was going on dates with her husband. That means that so when, when, when the man walked in, to kiss her, that wasn't Jesus, that was her husband. Now watch this here, people of God. Joanna had so much strength that she knew how to distinguish Jesus even while she was married. And since Joanna found a way to sow while she was married. Watch, watch, watch this here. Watch, it says, and Joanna and Susanna and many others, which ministered unto Jesus out of their money, out of their substance. So this is a married woman sowing. That take a lot of strength. Because Jesus' bojangles wasn't entering inside of her at night. Joanna's husband was entering inside of her. That was her sexual partner. 
But yet she knew that this man was her soul. I want you to catch this. Joanna was receiving seed from Chusa. And Jesus was receiving seed from Joanna. Watch this here. Married woman get to sow seed. Even though they're having seed sown into them. My God. Because Joanna was receiving seed from Chusa. He was he was sowing seed into her. But now Chusa, uh, uh, Joanna is sowing seed. Chusa was sowing seed into Joanna. But now Joanna is sowing seed into a man named Jesus. This woman had a special grace on her because she wasn't just a seed taker. She was a seed sower. See, certain women recognize that they're not just seed receivers. They're seed sowers. Now, saints, watch this here. A certain woman is different because every other woman is a seed taker. She take the seed and that's all she does. All her life. It, everything that comes to her is for her. And it's also for whoever she chooses. So it's still her. Because if she won't give it to her no good cousin, that's who she's going to give it to. If she won't give it to her no good, no good co-workers, that's who she's going to give it to. Wh whoever she won't give it to. If she won't give it to a charity, that's what she's going to give it. So it's still her. But these certain women said, I receive seed, but I have a job from heaven. See, sowing is a job from heaven. I have a job from heaven to also imitate the seed being sown into me by sowing it back into Jesus. And saints, these women refuse to be takers, but makers. They went into the God class. Certain women, they went into the God class. They refused to be takers. See, see, listen, listen. You always going to find a woman that's a taker. She average. She a city girl. She might be a church girl. She might be a, a, a singer in the choir. She might be a bishop in the church. She might be a prayer intercessory warrior, whatever you call it. Prayer intercessory, uh, 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 go, go power ranger. If she a ninja turtle. She might be, she might be, uh, Batman and Robin in the, in, in, in prayer intercessory. But you will always find women like that. But a certain woman is a woman that knows how to create an altar. Ha! She know how to create an altar and she knows how to destroy the stronghold that's on her bloodline through her sowing. She know how to activate the angelic. She know how to bring down the fire of God on her finances, the fire of God on her health, the fire of God on her mind, the fire of God on her atmosphere, her path. Her future. She know how to bring down the favor of God. She know how to activate activate favor with God and with men because she's a certain woman. Everyone else is a curtain woman. They're a curtain woman. That means that they behind. They, 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 there's a veil over their eyes. They can't see Jesus. But the certain woman, they see the Lord. These women were not engrafted in the religious activities. These women were not churchgoers. These women right here were not involved with the synagogue leader. They had reserved all of their time, their work, their effort, their pleasure, their honor into studying Jesus. And they saw that Jesus was going from village to village. He was preaching the word. And these women said, we got you, Jesus. You, you, you the man, Jesus, you, you got the word of God inside of you. You are delivering, you are setting free, you are healing, you are imparting freshness. And we are there to co-create with you. 
we gonna make it possible. They were his helpers. Solomon had his helpers. David had his helpers. And Jesus had his certain woman. And since Jesus' ministry did Jesus' ministry did have no issues. Jesus' ministry did have no backlashes. You know why? Because they were sowing. They took care of Jesus. They made sure Jesus was well taken care of. And Jesus, they have no stress of the prince of the power of the air. Hindering his mouth, his word, his teaching, because they was right there. Jesus had these certain women as his fortified team. And he was able to deliver those oppressed of the devil because of them. They made it possible. Without them, Jesus would have been in a bind. But he wasn't because they had an honorable mind.